fact. Back in 92, visitors from all around the world congregate in Onion Lake for the annual powwow in celebration of indigenous heritage. Every year, thousands of people descend on Onion Lake, setting up camp and taking part in the annual powwow. There's bigger powwows in the United States, but this one is in Canada. It's one of the biggest powwows here. The celebrations draw both participants and spectators from across Canada and the U.S. And this year, visitors have come from as far away as Australia and New Zealand. It's something that continues to grow in popularity. Well, the power has been going on way before the, uh, the coming, coming of the European into uh, Canada. Uh, but there was a period in time that uh, we didn't have any celebrations until about very recently, and, uh, starting in the uh, 60s, we, we, we uh, came back to the celebration of the culture of the Indian people. But this year was not only a celebration of Native culture, it was also a time to remember the contributions of Native war vets. As it is with us Indian people, we want to do anything possible to recognize these sort of people, especially if they have gone on and served our countries in a manner that they did. And last week, we showed you the East. Now, we take a look at the results of the 97 Alberta Summer Games to see if the food fueled the fun. The stands are empty and the fields are bare as crews are busy cleaning up the last traces of the Summer Games. There's a lot of work, a lot of time. People put in a lot of their own personal time and a lot of work, and, uh, but I mean it was all worth it in the end. Just 24 hours ago, the exhibition grounds were packed with athletes, coaches and spectators. But today, things look a little different. With the four-day event having come and gone, Porter City residents can look back to the games with pride. We're going to miss the athletes, we're going to miss all the visitors, but uh, uh, we feel good about it. We feel uh, that we did a good job. We feel that uh, some of the athletes and the, the, the visitors are going to come back to Lloydminster and visit, visit, visit us again. So we're very proud of what we accomplished, and I'm proud of uh, the city. It's just tremendous. Absolutely fantastic. They, what they did here was uh, they created something that we need that we can remember and it was good it was really good thousands of volunteers made the games a true success leaving a lasting impression with our visitors I have not heard one negative thing from uh, visitors and spectators and athletes they couldn't believe what a tremendous job we all did and everybody should be proud of themselves and that's all for this week and retrospect.